Dear Grade 12 students, welcome back to English 312. Before I proceed further, I would like to remind you to please get your textbook, notebook or a paper, your pen or a pencil, and your dictionary because you might need to refer to it. Today, our lesson will be about problem and solution, Unit 7, and let's see the objectives. The objectives that we will be tackling are as follows. By the end of the lesson, you would have identified the layout and structure of a solution problem paragraph, located specific information related to solutions and problems in context, written essay about problems and solutions about a certain topic. Okay, so first of all, the layout of a, the layout of a solution and a problem paragraph. So when I'm telling you, we're going to tackle a problem and a solution. What do you think? What are the things that comes into your mind? I'll give you 30 seconds just to write down what things or how do you think a paragraph when it comes to problem and solution is written. Okay, let's see all together. So problems and solution. Problem, solution, writing first explains a problem, then purpose one or more solutions to that problem. This type of writing often requires more than one paragraph. So when we talk about a solution and a problem, or a problem and a solution to be more specific, is that we usually start with the problem, explaining it, then stating what the problems are, and then the solutions. Now that requires more than one paragraph. So, the real or first condition is a useful way to talk about both problems and solution. The event uh, in the if cause is possible or likely to happen. The event in the result close would logically follow. The real conditions are the most common in writing about problems and solutions. So what we're saying here is that relate it to real life. When you're talking about a problem, link it to real, to real life, state the problem that is more closer to you, and then think about the solutions. So, when we talk about a problem and a solution, there has to be a structure. We always know when it comes to writing a report or writing an essay, there is an order in which we follow. So the order for this essay would be, as follows. We always start by the introduction. Here, when they said, relate it to the real life. Give me a background about the problem. State the problem to me. Give me general information. Then, state the problem. Explain what are the problems. Get more specific. The explanation takes part. After you explain the problems, we usually have a second paragraph in which the solutions are recommended. So here, you're telling from your perspective or from the research or from the facts what solutions can happen. In the end, summary and recommendations. So what happens here, introduction, a background of the problem. If it's real life, you do state when it started, how it started, why is it touching you, why is it a problem to you? Then you get to the mean. What is the problem? The solutions from your search. In the end, the summary of the entire thing with recommendations. Okay. So here, usually when we talk about the body now, this is the body as we know. So how do we link it? In order to serve these, problem, these problem, problems, it usually comes here. To meet this, one answer is a second, third, final answer. In order to overcome these problems, one solution is, one thing we can do is. So here, usually when you're going to write a paragraph tackling the solutions, this is what we write. Whereas if we're tackling the problems, you usually start with first, second, third. Okay, now this is the writing layout. What I want you to do is that I want you to read these sentences, okay? And I want you to just, I'll give you just a minute, read them carefully, and then I'll give my comment on them.
Okay, so this is the writing layout. It's just an example. In the introduction, coronavirus are a family of viruses that gets easily spread among people. Introduction, background information, and then so on you continue. The problem, in the, in the problem paragraph, state the issue and describe it. So what is the problem? Example, coronavirus is infectious disease caused by, and I start mentioning the problems. Solutions. Here I start naming the solutions. So we start by writing, in order to solve the problem, you can. If you wash your hands properly, you will. So I'm stating the solutions. Conclusion, you will, you will end it by summarizing the whole thing by asking them to fixate by following the instructions. So you're asking them to focus. In the summary, in the conclusion, in the ending, your, your main focus of the entire paragraph is mentioned here. If you follow these instructions carefully, you will and so on. Now, let's actually read the paragraph and try to reorder it based on these. So we have introduction, problem, solutions, conclusion. I'm expecting that you actually noted them, noted them down. If you didn't, do not them down. I'll give you another 30 seconds. Now what I want you to do is that I want you to read this carefully for two minutes and reorder it. So what I want you to do is that number them. One, two, three, four. And right, right next to it, number one equals the introduction, body, conclusion, if the body, which part, the problem or the solution. I'll give you three minutes to do so.
Let's read the paragraph all together. Coronavirus. Coronavirus is an infectious disease caused by a newly discovered virus. Because it is highly contagious, it's fast and easy spread. It's threatening people's lives all over the world. Death trolls are increasing every day, and the loss of many beloved ones is leaving a lot of suffering behind. It has harmed not only populations, but also countries, causing the worst economic crisis in many countries. Which, this paragraph, is it the introduction? Is it the problem? Is it the solution? Is it the conclusion? So after each paragraph, I'll freeze a little bit so that you can write it down. Okay, so number one, what is the type of the paragraph? Let's read number two. If you follow these instructions carefully, you will save your life and many others. And together, we will be able to overcome this problem. Clear and easy to tackle. So second paragraph, what type? Three, coronavirus are, coronaviruses are a family of viruses that gets easily spread among people. This have made the jump to humans. At first, the person would think that they are having a, a cold as its symptoms are, are similar. So what am I doing here? I am giving a what? Which paragraph it is? Which type? The last, there is currently no vaccine to prevent the, the disease. But in order to solve the problem, you can protect yourself and help slow down the spreading of the virus if you wash your hands properly and regularly with soap and water or alcohol-based hand rub. One more thing we can do is to, cover your, is to cover your nose and your mouth with a disposal tissue when coughing or sneezing. Another solution is to avoid close contact and keep one to two meters away from others. And final solution is to stay home and self-isolated yourself from others if you feel unwell. I think this paragraph is clearly stating which one it is. We mentioned it several times throughout the whole thing, but let's check the answer. So, introduction, we're giving a background. We did say, a family of viruses, the symptoms, I'm giving a background. Then, the problem, we stated what the problem was and what is happening as well. Solution, it's stated, the solution, another solution, the final solution. From that, you can directly click that it is the solution paragraph. Conclusion, we fixated, we focused on the fact that if you followed the instructions carefully, you will save your life and many others. It's easy. So when you will write a problem and solution, always keep in mind, to follow the layout, introduction, a background, a general background about the topic, then directly state the problem and have it in point. So you can say first, second, third, then the solution. And the solutions, if it's in steps, use the linking words or the, transactions, the transaction words. Conclusion, you summarize the whole thing and focus, give the focus of the main thing. By that, now I think you're all ready to start, write a short paragraph about a problem and your suggestion. So select a topic that you think it's a problem for you currently, write your ideas, and then solutions. In the previous example, I chose the coronavirus. You pick another topic, choose the problem, give me three problems and three solutions for a certain topic following a similar structure. By that, we reach the end of the lesson. Thank you and see you soon.